with the MTB discount. Uh, we've uh, got the uh, derailleurs mounted up, the shifters. Uh, now the last thing to do on our drivetrain is to mount up the chain. Uh, first off, we're going to be using a KMC X10SL silver chain, hollow pin, uh, great chain, uh, nice and lightweight but still durable. We're going to be using a chain tool and a wrench to help with the chain tool. And of course you're going to want a marker of some sort to be able to mark the length of the chain. So how you measure these chains is basically take from the large ring on the rear cassette to the large chain ring and then add one full set of links. So we're going to go ahead and run our chain around. and through, beat it through to the large chain ring. And make sure it's seated properly and not caught on anything. Bring it around. And then match it up to where it would match. You wanna go one full link. So one link here the back link, uh, inner link, and so we're going to want to cut right about here. So let me go ahead and mark that, that that's the pin we're taking out, and then we can go ahead and pull it off the bike, or you can allow it to dangle, but generally it's a little easier off the bike. So pull it off, making sure you don't uh, rub your mark off. I'm going to try and do this out here where you can see. Basically, we've got our, our link marked. We've got our chain tool. Um, you guys may have a small multi-tool chain tool or a nice heavy-duty one. just depends. And then just spin it up until the pin meets the pin on the chain. And then this will come out very easily once it starts to go. You'll feel it kind of give and the pin will loosen up and start pushing through. And hopefully we see that drop here in a second. There we go. That's all there is to it. Just back it off by hand now that all the tension's off. And remove the chain. And now we're good to go. So we've got two of the small inner link ends exposed. And then our master link, um, KMC's master link will actually uh, connect these two ends together. So now what we need to do is just feed it through. And again, got it set to where it's a little easier. If you want to shift it over to the small ring, Gives you a little more slack on it. And this is good for good practice for when you replace your chain on your existing one because you're going to already have your derailleurs all mounted up. Now we're already on the small cassette back here. Small ring on the back cassette here. So pull it through enough till it hangs so it doesn't start pulling it through. and then feed it through your rear derailleur. Making sure that uh, you catch all the teeth. And there you go. So, just over another hair or two. There we go. So now you've got all this extra slack here. We've got our uh, our lock engaged on the uh, Type 2 rear derailleur. So then we just take our master link and work it through. We've got on that side, we've got the master link mirror image on the other side. So you push them through, and there's a little catch on these pins that you can push through here, if you can see. And then, basically, and it 
just pops into place like that. So again, make sure there's no binding and you're good to go. So you your lockout on that and there's your your new chain. So now ready to rock and roll. That's it uh, for the build. Actually, that takes us through the final piece. So we're going to take this thing out and uh, give it a demo ride. So thanks for tuning in.